let's get started with our ramp by building that initial ramp angle. So we need a way to control uh, the angle of the ramp. And now a lot of ramps have different shapes, but they do follow the general shape of basically a quarter of a circle. All right. It is scaled and, you know, um, in the X and the, the Y directions to get different, you know, angles and, you know, types of transitions and stuff like that. But let's just focus on how to create the shape. All right. So let's jump into Houdini. Okay, so here I am inside of my uh, skate park quarter pipe, pipe dot uh, hip file. All right, and what I want to do first, I'm going to come over here to the network view and just drop down a geometry node. So I hit tab on the keyboard and I'm going to go create a geometry node. Basically, this is going to be our uh, quarter pipe uh, HDA. All right, so I'm going to turn this into an HDA so I can basically just make any amount of variations of quarter pipes that I feel like I want to make. So. Uh, to get this started, I'm going to right click on this guy and say create digital assets. And I'm going to go and give this the proper namespace. So we say IP uh, colon colon. And then the name of the, the internal name of the actual HDA. And then at the end, we give it the version number. All right, so I'm going to do that. And then for the label, so the label is what you see here for the node. And I'm going to give the name of IP quarter pipe 1.0. And what I want to do is I actually want to save it to my project so I don't lose it. So I'm going to go to job and inside of here, I'm going to create a new folder called HDA. So I'm going to store all of my Houdini digital assets here. All right. And I'm going to hit accept on that and then accept on this window right here. And then I'm also going to hit the destroy all spare parameters in this little pop up here. We don't need any of those just yet. And I don't actually think we're going to uh, throughout the rest of this course. So we just delete them anyways. All right, so this launches the edit operator type property. So I'm going to go first to the basic tab here and hit uh, 1.0 for the version number. Uh, we don't need any inputs or, or maximum inputs, so that these are fine. I'm going to go to the help, and I'm just going to put author. And we're going to do Kenny Lammers. All right, we're just going to say created uh, on. And we'll say 2 dot, or actually it's 3.01. 2020 time is moving fast. All right, so let's go to the interactive tab now. Go to shelf tools, context, and I'm going to put this into an indie pixel folder. So basically, what we're doing is we're setting up the tab submenu path. So this is what you see when you hit tab over here. These are all the submenu paths. So I want to have you know a path in here that's uh, indie pixel, and then like skate park something like that. So we say uh, indie pixel. Let me capitalize that there. So indie dash pixel. Uh, forward slash, we'll put it into a skate park folder. There we go. Cool. So when I hit apply, if I come over here and hit tab, you can see now we have this any pixel and skate park, and we have our quarter pipe tool or HDA available. So we can go and make you know more of them as we see fit. Cool. So with that, let's go into the parameters tab and let's hide all of the default UI. So all this basically represents all the UI that you see up here in the parameters view. And so I'm going to go select it all here in the type properties window and just make that invisible. I don't want to see that stuff. Cool. So we are ready to go. That's, you know, the, the first step in getting this stuff up and rolling. So I hit apply and accept to commit all those changes to this guy. And then a really good uh, practice to get into is to always save your HDA. So right click on it and say save no type. Awesome. So I'm going to go now and double click on this quarter pipe to jump inside. Now I should note that you can also use the U and the I key to jump it up and out and in. All right. So if I hit uh, up or U on the keyboard, it throws me out of that node. If I hit I on the keyboard, it throws me back in. Okay. So with that, uh, let's go and start building out the shape that we need for our ramp. So I'm going to go and hit tab on the uh, keyboard inside of the quarter pipe HDA. And I'm going to select the circle node. All right, so this circle node is going to represent, or it's going to help us build the shape of the ramp. Okay. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to come up here and change the primitive type to polygon. All right, because we're going to be working the polygons. And I'm going to change the division. Let's put the division to something like 20 for now. We can we'll be able to change it later. Uh, I also want to you know make sure that I'm working in the Z forward. All right, this is very important when it, at least when it comes to working with um, Unity, but it also is great when, uh, to get into this practice when you're inside of Houdini because a lot of things work with the Z forward orientation. So I'm going to switch the orientation of my circle here to the YZ plane. All right, so that puts it, so it's facing in Z forward. Okay, so the next thing I want to do here is I want to put my arc to an open arc. We don't need the full circle unless we're making a you know full pipe for our uh, skate park. 
In this case, we're going to focus on the quarter pipe, so we're going to go from 0 to 90, like so. But I really need this so that, you know, the curve is actually opposite of this, all right? And so a couple, you could do it a couple ways. I'm just going to throw down a transform node here. And I am going to then rotate it on X by 90 degrees. Or actually, let's do ni negative 90 degrees, so it's down there, okay? And then what we can do is we can utilize one of the side effects labs nodes, and that's the uh, axis align node, which is very useful. It helps us get things, you know, aligned on the grid nice and neatly so we can work with it. And by default, you know, that's going to work pretty well. What I actually want to do is I want to make sure that this point is actually sitting right at the world zero. So to do that, I'm going to set the z-axis to uh, min. And there we go. So now we have a perfect arc that we can control. And we can then go and um, add more points you know, to this now. So if we turn on our point component display right here, we can go add more points if we want, make it smoother. Uh, we can also change you know, the angle of the ramp, like so. So if you just middle mouse click and hold on this guy, you can change the, that ramp size. All right, so pretty cool stuff. Yeah, awesome. So with that, we now have our basic shape of the ramp. Okay, so what I'm going to do, it's good practice also to get into, just create these null nodes. Now, uh, your null node most likely does not look like my null node, and that is because I have modified it, and I didn't want to do that. I have modified it using the uh, shape window over here, the shape palette. Now, you bring that up by hitting Z on the keyboard, all right? And if you want to change the shape of this by default, so whenever you create it, you can always hold down control on the keyboard and you can do that. So anytime now I create, whoops, let me jump back in there. I create a null node, it'll have that shape. All right, this also works for the color. So if I tap C on the keyboard, that'll bring up my color palette. And if I hold down control and put that to red, whenever I go create a new null node, it'll come out to red. All right, so let me hide all that. And actually I wanna set it back to what I like. So I'm gonna hold down control and get the circle. Okay, and then hit C on the keyboard, and I'm going to select this black color. All right, cool. So let's hide that color palette. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, out, or I'm going to type out um, shape, or we'll call this ramp shape. How about that? So out ramp shape. So it's good practice to get into using these null nodes because it allows us to create these little systems. All right, so I'm a big fan of doing this. And this will become more clear as we start to create more systems or more networks inside of this uh, HDA that we're developing. All right, so with that, we now have our shape developed. So let's move on to the next lecture and build out the geometry for the ramp.